you just created a contact form in HTML and CSS, but you cannot find the easiest way to receive messages from the contact form into your Gmail account. In today's video, I will show the easiest way to facilitate that. And just so you know, we won't be using any server-side script to process the form data and send it to our desired destination. I already have the contact form, which we created in the last video. To perfectly follow along this tutorial, I would advise you to watch this video first, which explains in details how to create the contact form. So, this is the contact form we came up with in the previous tutorial. First, we will try to send a message through the form and see whether it would send the message. Unfortunately, it's not. It also doesn't give us any message explaining whether it has been sent or not. Now, to make this functional, open a new browser and type web3forms.com. This is the website we will be using to handle all the server and backend code. We will only obtain the free API key and two lines of code. Then paste them in our existing code. Scroll down to HTML. In here, we have this section where we will enter our email address in order to receive the access key. Perfect, it is successful. So let's check our email inbox. Here it is. Next up, go back to web3forms.com and proceed to step two. In these step, we will copy this action code and also the input type code. Go back to your HTML and replace the blank action with the action code we copied. Next, let's copy the input type code. This one will be pasted right above the existing username input type. Nice, one last thing before we test the form. In here, we need to paste the access key that was emailed to us. Perfect. Time to test the form. I will enter my name, then my email address, and lastly a message. Then send message. Perfect, the form is submitted successfully. It also contains an extra message for the person trying to send us a message. They now have an option to go back to the website. For us, we will receive the message in the Gmail inbox. Let's check our inbox. Here it is. It states that a new form has been submitted to our website and also gives us the details. This include the username, user email, and the user message. Now with this details, you can engage with the website visitor and discuss more about their message. That is it for today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you on the next one.